All right, guys, here we go. Back out on the dirt, dirt bike. Been a bit. Dual sport ride on the 2021 KTM 500 KXCF. Like I said, it's been a minute since I've been on the dirt bike. I don't know if I got burnt out or what, but I just needed a little break. Just trying to mend myself up from some minor injuries, I guess you could say. Getting back on the dual sport is always a good time. Just uh, get out there, keep it mellow, do a little exploring, have a good time. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, riding the 2021 KTM 500 EXCF, pretty much bone stock. It's got tires on it, it's got some mirrors on it. Other than that, it's pretty much the same thing you'd buy off the showroom floor. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do with it, if I'm going to build it out or not. I kind of like the way it is. I know I could get a lot more power out of it. But I do enjoy how quiet it is. It's a, a little bit of a stealth bike, if you don't, if you don't, uh, you don't mind me saying. It's kind of, I don't know, I kind of like it. Bike's good right out, right out of the showroom. Got a little spot here to put in a couple, couple laps. Suspension is pretty soft on this bike. Good for what it is. You're gonna get too crazy with it. You definitely need to do something. I'm a little heavy for it. It's not really strong for my weight. Definitely need some valving changes. Ground fork really dives dives pretty pretty hard in my opinion. Uh, granted, I'm about 190 with a pack full of water on it, so definitely pushing that 200 plus pounds. Is what you're on. Still a great bike though, a lot of fun. And all that stuff's pretty easy to fix. Change some spring rates. Maybe get a little valving done. Should be pretty solid with that. Again, trying not to get too crazy here. I'm out here by myself in the middle of nowhere in this top secret Southern Oregon location. So I don't want to go out and have a little tumble that's going to cost me uh, any time off work or a trip to the hospital. That being said, I'm still having a good time on my dirt bike. Like I said, it's been a minute since I've been on the dirt bike. Just took a little break. Just been dealing with some back Where issues. Where's look out here? Uh, just other little things that, that we all deal with as we get over our energy. But not whining, just explaining more than anything. You've seen me get on the mountain bike a little bit. That's just trying to stay, keep some fitness, I guess. I'm trying to get back into mountain biking a little bit. I love everything two wheels for the most part. Uh, dirt bikes being by far my favorite. Mountain bikes are fun when you're fit, and I'm not fit, so that's kind of an issue. They're a good way to get fit or stay fit if you are fit. And yeah, we're not talking mountain bikes right now, we're talking dirt bikes. Dual sports, specifically. See, I'm not 
not super confident jumping on it, but it's not really the, the bike's fault. It's more of a, as I've gotten older, I'm not really interested in getting the wheels off the ground as much as I used to love it. So I'm much more cautious about it, especially when I'm riding solo. I know a lot of people say, don't ever ride solo, but if I waited for the perfect opportunity to go riding with the buddies all the time, I'd probably never get to ride, so. And honestly, some of these solo rides are some of my favorite rides. I really enjoy it. You can kind of just run your own pace, not get too carried away with anything, not get into anything super technical or crazy. Just go out and have some fun riding your dirt bike. I'm just kind of out here bombing some fire roads. I probably didn't get enough video of this. I actually had a pretty good time just kind of ripping on these roads. You know, of course, you have to be careful. You might run into a, a random car or truck up here or a side-by-side, -side, of course. So that's always in the back of your mind. But luckily today, I didn't ride, run into any of that. Of course, it's hot today, 90 plus degrees. Not too bad when you're moving and, uh, you know, going at a decent pace. So that's what I try to do for the most part. Anyhow, I hope to get back on the uh, on the bike pretty soon, get back into racing. Hopefully that all works itself out. If not, I don't know, I'll make do with what we got. But I think that's about all I got for this one. So thanks for watching, and until the next one, I'm out.